is Derek Hernandez. Uh, I'm from Puerto Rico. Uh, I was born and raised here, and I was lucky to get a scholarship with Archie Biotexture, and now we're here bu building this uh, enormous and beautiful place here in Iowa. Rebecca Gonzalez. I'm from Camuy, Puerto Rico, originally from San Sebastián, and I am a farmer. A mother, a sister, a friend. I'm very happy that the revolution is finally here because we can't take that anymore. My name is Michael. I'm from Bayamón, Puerto Rico. Uh, there, there is a lot of corruption here in Puerto Rico and people might not realize how bad it is, but now people are waking up. We are tired. We are... Now, and now is the moment, like, there's a collective consciousness racing around really fast and not just in one or two generations. It's a thing of everybody because we're all victims, you know, of, of, of all this system uh, that has been squishing us for so long. And, you know, it's time, it's time to, to make a change after the hurricane was that uh, the first lady built a foundation that uh, was supposedly uh, used to help people in need. It was called Unidos por Puerto Rico. But with this, uh, a, a few months after, or a few even years after the hurricane, they found su supplies hidden in in faraway places and people are still dying from the aftermath of Maria. It was really, really bad. And this uh, scandal that came out was 189 pages of a private chat that the governor had with all of his, you know, his staff and it shows his attitude. He mocks the deaths and the death tolls from Maria. He, he makes uh, homophobic comments, is completely misogynistic, and you can see uh, in this chat that he was never really responsible for the people. The, the necessity that we confront after Maria makes people to do new things be more creative, like, like it's, it's what's happening here, you know? And making things for better in a way that we can depend on ourselves to get the things that we need in case we lost them with a the hero, you know? yeah. That we don't have to depend on the government to bring us the things because we can no more trust in them, you know? Yeah. We feel that our presence here and making an example of self-reliant and autonomous uh, housing uh, gives people an example of an option where they're free from being reliant on government and corporations that don't have their best interest in mind. When, when everything's done uh, with the corruption, uh, we, we are going to need spaces like this especially, uh, and to have a community and a community center that we have already used and we know that it's, it's so important that's part of the revolution. It's very important that other people uh, show their feelings and, and let the local people know that they stand with them, you know, and now you have people from other places saying, hey, I stand with you. And I think that's, that's mostly why everybody's like more like united than ever. We are going to be in such a better place once we clean the house. So that's what we got to do, clean the house. Que viva Puerto Rico Libre. <laughs> this is like, we anticipated, man. We're so ready for a revolution. Yeah.